well, well, well. What do we have here? The crafting event is now live. You have 16 days to take advantage of this excellent crafting event. So do not wait and don't sleep on this stuff. It is fantastic. You can craft a free CTP, a random CTP. You can also craft a free CTP of Insight. Both of those are guaranteed. So everyone will get two CTPs from this event, no matter what. Two free CTPs, which is crazy. And then you also have the chance to get a Mighty and a brilliant CTP of Insight. I say chance because there's not a guarantee on those two. Um, it is just a chance. You can see the success chance for the brilliant is 1%. So there's a 33% there's a chance that even if you use the maximum number of crafts every day for the entirety of the event, you will miss the Brilliant. And I can attest to that. I missed the Brilliant Destruction and the Brilliant Authority. I hit the 33 both times. And then there's also only a 1% chance on the Mighty. So you can also miss the Mighty with a 33% chance. But yeah, the other two CTPs are guaranteed, which is awesome. And this event is actually really easy because you can do it two ways. The first way that you can do it is by trying to get these leaves. They come in three varieties or rarities. Green is the lowest rarity of leaf. Yellow is the sort of medium rarity. And then orange and red are the high tier rarity. I put orange and red on the same rarity tier because although you don't craft red, you only craft orange. As you can see here, they are interchangeable. So they're actually valued the exact same way. It's just that the way that you uh, acquire them is different. So you acquire the orange uh, leaves through crafting. As you can see right here, you can craft them for CCF. That's the way to get the orange ones. You can also, I believe, get orange ones by combining yellow ones, if that's really your fancy. And then for the yellow and the green, you can either break down the oranges or you can farm. And you have three different places to farm. You have your dimension missions. As you can see there, you can farm the green ones in the dimension missions. Then you also have dispatch missions where you can farm as well. So if we go over to 1-1, you will see the green leaves there. And then as we cycle through to the other higher tiers, you can see once we hit tier 5, you have the orange ones as well. Or sorry, the yellow ones as well. So you have yellow and green. And then if you cycle past that, if you go all the way to 10-1, then you can also have a chance at getting the orange leaves as well. And I believe that is it. Yeah. So there you go. So ideally, if you're going to be farming this, uh, especially for dispatch, if you're going to be farming it on auto repeatedly, you want to start at at least 10-1. Usually for these events, I suggest 7-1 because that's where you can start getting premium reward drops as well. But for this one, you're going to want to go a little bit higher to 10-1. So if you haven't yet unlocked 10-1, if you've been dragging your feet to play dispatch, this is the sort of kick in the pants uh, encouragement that you need motivation to go and grind up to 10 one uh, the reason why you want to do that is because even though it's a very small chance to get orange one orange is worth like a hundred yellows so it's a massive massive drop uh, chance you know even with a small chance it's a massive drop even if you just get one um, so definitely farm that on repeat a good farming team for 10 one dispatch would not look like this because this is a team where only one character is doing damage, i.e. Thor, Valkyrie, and uh, White Fox are just doing supports. This is better for, like, Dimension Rift. You want a team that's more like... Not exactly this, but you want basically a team with three DPS, or two DPS and one support. Uh, dispatch is a little bit different. You can refer to my previous Dispatch videos. But I usually suggest running, you know, if you have three level 80s, and they're all damage dealers, run those. If you have three tier 4s, run those. If you have like Magneto and Namor, that's a perfect combo. You can just add in a support like Dazzler or, or Valkyrie or something like that and run that. Um, if you have like, you know, Miles and Gwen as DPS, then you run them with White Fox because they both take advantage of that passive. Then boom, you're good. Use White Fox lead to get extra all defense down and you should be able to shred through dispatch. But yeah, all the previous dispatch videos are still, um, you know, useful. Just remember that for dispatch, you have to use energy. I don't, uh, I would be, it'd be a shame to see someone autoplay overnight and not use energy and then uh, be disappointed when they don't get any drops. You don't get any drops if you don't use energy. As you can see here, you only get XP if you enter dispatch without energy. You do not get any drops. You don't even get crafting drops. You just get energy, you just get XP. You, I mean, you get dispatch XP, uniform XP, character XP. That's useful for sure, but you need to use energy. Um, and so you need to have energy in order to farm these. But you and then you also have the chance of farming, like I said, premium items, as you can see here. And then you get gold, 
uh, and things like that. For those people that are going to be farming dispatch a lot, the booster is actually really weird to find. It's under materials, under currency. And then if you go over to utility, you will find the premium gold booster. Now, this is only for three days, but this is for those of you that are going to be farming dispatch like crazy. And you also have like tons of energy and you have a little bit of crystals to spend again. And you desperately need the gold. This isn't for everybody for sure. But for those of you that want to make the absolute most of your farming, doubling your gold on dispatch can actually be quite nice because I used to do, you know, anywhere from 100 to 200 runs of dispatch overnight and you'd be getting like a few million gold. So that will add up, right? Instead of getting like 3 million gold, you get 6 million gold and you do that for three days. So you're basically paying, you know, about 365 crystals to get an extra like 10 million gold if you're able to run that many stages for three days in a row. So it definitely depends on how much energy you have left over. Um, and if you can manage to boost up your energy every day if you're low. Um, but for those of you that have a lot of spare energy and you want to go crazy on this event, this is not a bad deal at all. Because if you compare it to just buying gold, uh, it's so garbage. Look at this. 500 gold only gets you 2 mil 500 crystals only gets you 2 million gold normally. So the gold booster is way better. Remember how I said there were three ways to farm these leaves? Well, the first way is, of course, Dimension Missions. The second way, and I think the preferred way, the better way is from dispatch missions. I honestly wouldn't recommend farming the leaves from dimension missions at all. Uh, and then what's the third way, Alex? Well, the third way is to just craft them. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you now in the video. I'm gonna craft them. You can craft two of the orange ones here for 100 CCF. So you can craft a total of eight every single day. So I'm gonna show you here, that's two, that's four, that's six, um, and then this is eight. And the reason why I really like this event is that for players who don't have CCF, they can go into dispatch and they can farm and they can build up these materials. But for players who have a surplus of CCF, and as you can see, I have 40,000 CCF. I just have nothing to do with it. Um, if you've been farming, if you've been farming World Boss Legend for a long time, you will have a similar situation to, to me um, because you just get too much CCF, right? There's just not enough books and there's not enough tier threes to keep up with the amount of CCF you get from playing World Boss Legend five times a day for the past like two years. So for those players, they don't actually have to farm. I don't have to worry about farming. I can just uh, craft and then I can break down the, the, the leaves into the ones that I need. And then it's all Gucci. So for example here, I mean, I already, I already accidentally farmed enough green leaves from just doing my 10 dispatch mi uh, dimension missions of the, of the day. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I, I don't do the full dimension missions. I just get the first two um, contribution rewards because I want the gold and the tokens and then I stop. I do this because I much rather spend my energy on like dimension rifts or dispatch or, you know, extra GBR runs or whatever. Uh, so I actually don't do a bunch of dimension missions. I think it's kind of low, low value these days, uh, in my opinion. But yeah, so as you can see there, I already have enough. It's, oh, it's a 1% chance. Oh, I only have enough for one try. Oh, I see. So it's not even a guarantee uh, on the regular one. I mean, it's a guarantee that you'll get it, right? Like you'll you'll definitely get the CTP of Inside eventually, but it's not a guarantee. I see. This one is just a. This one is just like you just save up for three days and you're and you're good to go. But yeah, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna break down. So see, I'm gonna break down one of these leaves into ten thousand green ones. And now <laughs> I want to see how many tries here. I have a thousand and one tries. No shot. Okay, let's do these in batches of 10. So it's 1.5 million gold. Let's do these in batches of 10. All right, because we have a 1% chance. So nice. It shouldn't take us that many tries here, but let's see what happens. All right, you also get the gold uh, spending event, which is nice. All right. Okay, so this is 30 attempts. It's a kind of a weird animation. It's almost like it's lagging. 40 attempts this can get costly gold wise because it's 1.5 million gold per 10 attempts so when i get to 100 attempts it's 15 million gold uh so yeah you, you got to be careful with the amount of gold that you have if you're very low on gold you definitely want to do the crafting at the end of the event rather than at the beginning like me just to make sure that you're crafting everything that you need first especially like the ctp the random ctp that's 100 percent guaranteed so there's no chance I, I forgot there was a chance on this shit this is brutal uh, oh, there we go. We got it. Okay, so that was less than 100 there. Um, 100, again, is the average, of course, uh, for crafting it. But it's just a matter of having enough attempts. Uh, you don't always have, you know, the same number of attempts. Or maybe you do. Oh, are they all guaranteed now? 
Oh, I have seven attempts here. Juicy, juicy. I don't think I'm going to be able to farm enough orange. So you know what? I think they I think they changed this. Yeah, they did. I think in the past there was a chance. There was only like a chance to craft. Uh, there, there was an option to craft every single day. But it was I think it was a one, one or two chances. I think they've removed the chance. Like the number of times you can craft it per day. You can attempt to craft it. I think they removed that. Because before, I knew there was a finite number of times. Like, you just knew ahead of time. Okay, like, I have 60 chances to get the Brilliant. Um, or whatever, 66 chances. But now it's an infinite number of chances. But it's still a 1%. So I think they actually improved the event. I didn't even realize that at first. They made this event better. Because before, there was a limit on how many times you could attempt to craft the, the Mighty and the Brilliant. Let's go ahead and, and go straight for the Brilliant. Screw it. We're just going to YOLO straight for the Brilliant and see what we get. Damn. <laughs> I've been so unlucky uh, with the crafting events that I wanted to see if my luck would change here and I would get it right away. I kind of deserve it because I, I missed out on the last two Brilliants, but um, we'll, we'll see. Uh, for those of you also wondering if there's like another strategy that you want to employ, um, absolutely consider not going for the Mighty and just going for the Brilliant, especially if you are a highly competitive player. The Brilliant is going to have a uh, more impact on your account. And since they have the exact same success rate, right? The Brilliant and the Mighty both have the exact same 1% chance there at the bottom. Um, down there, under my, under my camera. So what you can do is you can take uh, 100 of the yellow ones and you can convert that into one orange. Now, that's pretty expensive, but it's it's a 10 to 1. So you, you do get 10 chances to get the Mighty per one chance to get the Brilliant. That's something you sort of have to consider for yourself. Is the, is the Brilliant 10 times more valuable than the Mighty? You know, uh, and the odds are still only 1% every time, so it's not like your odds go up as you continue uh, crafting and, and, and failing, but uh, it's something to consider. So yeah, we also have the chests. I haven't really covered these in great detail, but you have the green chests where you can get tier two materials. Uh, the best ones obviously being Black Antimatter and Phoenix Feathers. And then you also have the yellow leaf chests where you can get tier two and tier three materials. I think these are good for leftover. If you have leftover materials at the end, uh, just keep in mind there's a daily craft limit of 10. You can see 10 out of 10 on that one on the left there, and then 10 out of 10 on this one. You cannot craft an infinite amount every day. So I always see people at the end of these events on the last day, they're saying, oh, I have like so many leaves and I can't craft more than 10. What's going on? Something's wrong with the game. Uh, no, there's just a daily craft limit. So if you're farming like crazy and you're going to end up having a, an insane surplus of feathers, you can absolutely start throwing them at these chests now. But I would only throw them at the green chest for now. I would not go for the yellow one. You got to be careful because they're much better spent on the CTPs first and then the chest second. So happy crafting, happy hunting, happy uh, grinding for those leaves that i keep trying to call feathers thank you so much for watching the video hopefully it helps smash the like button if you enjoy the content and i'll see you in the next one take care